Replace this charbroil oval burner and double venturi tubes with another not identical burner. Venturi tubes feed gas to right and left casings and structurally support the burner in the barbecue. Under the right side, left side control, the venturi tubes slide onto the valves. These are locked in place with wire clips. Remove the locks by squeezing the tension loop to elongate and unclip the lock. The burner lifts out of the barbecue by rotating away from the control valves while lifting. We'll build a similar oval burner replacement and visually match the gas tube angle and length to corrugated adjustable venturi tubes with extensions to slide over the gas orifices. Rarely, the small holes in the firebox are too small to allow the air shutter to pass through. We unassemble the venturi tubes to insert backwards from below. Slide the air shutter onto the valve orifice for support. As the burner presses onto the extension tube, the tubes slide into the corrugated steel bent venturis and seal using inner gaskets. With the new burner installed, the vaporizer shield seems too small to be effective. Assemble a universally adjustable radiant with a similar design but deeper. This stainless radiant will function more effectively in this barbecue because of the depth, venting louvers, and stainless material. Once the burner is installed, always check flames to adjust the carburetor and test for leaks.